hello this is my third take of this video it is my second my second tutorial I've done to put on um, YouTube so you'll have to forgive all my mistakes my first one was a TP card which I did lots of words in it of so 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 and I guess I'm going to do it in this one as well my apologies to you up front um, it is what it is and I'm not that clever right I'm actually going to be making a card today which is this one uh, a little chest of drawers for a baby card and there's two of them um, you could do I've done the boy and girl classical pink and blue but you can do a yellow one if you're not sure the sex of the baby that's coming you could do a green one a purple one whatever color you want um, I really think they're very effective um, and um, I like them and let's get to work now this one here is the base of a card the card is itself is um, 10 inches long and 4 inches wide and I've done the card itself and I've actually that's, that's a base and I've done a panel because this card is quite thin uh, a basil uh, I don't know if they changed their um, recipe for the cardstock or not but I find that a lot of it's been quite thin lately so I'm not sure what's going on you anyway, know so I've done the panel front panel the panel is from a Kaiser craft and it's the peekaboo with Girl. this card I've used that paper and I've actually cut out for the bottom to make it two nice legs I've used the stamping up, up um, decorative um, label punch can you see that and what I've simply done is I've, I've stuck the panel on and I have the other stamp set out. I'm using is baby bundles and the baby bundle set I've actually stamped it colored it in and then I fussy cut lots of pieces which you'll see in a moment so get back to the card so we've got the card um, front I've actually done a strip for the front the top of it and that measures at four and a half inches by a half an inch and I've actually just chopped off the corners to give it some um, nice edge again I've just used a bit there of the decorative punch you could use whatever you like so I'm just going to put that up the top everything uh, by the way um, I'm a firm believer that if you ink things you just get that nice effect and it just sets it you know it just sets it off nicely the two inks I've actually used is <laughs> it does look like I'm a stamping up um, demonstrator doesn't it is primrose petals by stamping up and the more mustard um, by stamping up uh, I do love them but I also love other inks so these are not particularly the only ones I use I've cut three um, panels out for the drawers and they actually measure three and a quarter inches by one inch and you do need to do three of them um, so and the glue I'm using today is the multi liquid glue from Tombow and look to be honest I, I just think it's brilliant stuff um, you could use double sided tape you could use whatever you like to use but I, I like this one so I'm just going to place them on there try to get it a little bit even because it does look a little bit awkward when it's sort of you're putting it all together now as you see I don't actually place the glue all over I leave the top bit free and the reason I do that is so I can tuck things in and it looks great so I like doing my bottom panel and my top panel first um, and then I do the third uh, the middle panel last and you can just that way you can actually give it a nice give it a nice um, even space that's all So there we are, we've got the basis of the card. So it's quite simple, isn't it? Now I've this is the piece that I've actually cut That's out. That's the piece here. I'm going to use for the top. 
again I'm just simply using my Tombow and you don't really need a lot of glue I think you know people make the mistake that you need tons of it but you really don't my friend Mickey she reckons that if she doesn't cover it in glue then it's not going to work okay so you got that right now the fun bit begins is putting on all your attachments so I've got buttons um, with this card I use brads but I quickly realized unless I had a ton of brads I um, I, I had to change and, and it doesn't hurt to have different things on different cards so what I did is I'm actually going to so use fussy buttons cut the, oh, can you see that I fussy cut the um, little pram out and what I've done is I've put two dimensional um, up here tapes and I'm actually going to use, I know it seems weird, but I'm going to use the combination of the Tombow and the um, double sided thick tape and I'm actually going to put it there. Um, again I've, I've already got these little bits prepared this is a um, little suit cute eh? and I'll just put just that gonna there. Just going to add this final embellishment and the card is finished it really doesn't take that long it, um, to make the card it's actually cutting out the elements and colouring in and, and that kind of thing now that will dry, this glue here dries clear as well so I'm pretty lucky with that because I seem to make a muck up of it quite frequently there you go and your card's finished what do you think? I think it's quite lovely I will just take you out of, oh I'll take you in actually to show you the elements first so as you can see can you see? Okay. Now I'm going to take you out and show you the actual card. Bring it down in frame, of course. Oh my goodness, this is not as easy as it looks, does, is it? Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I do waffle on, but like I said, that's me. I apologise, but you're still going to get it regardless. And there is the three cards. Okay. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate your time um, and I hope you got something out of it. Bye.